welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. That was my impersonation of being a Brit. Probably not very good. So, hi Claire, this one's for you. I got your boyfriend's racket. Hey, it's Andy Murray's racket. All right, so this is from 2012 US Open championship racket that he used on that Sunday to defeat Novak Djokovic. Um, again, 2012. Now I got a break in. Give me a second. Time to remove. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's kind of tight in there. Okay. First thing. So it's a radical, according to what it says, it says radical pro right there. Right? But then it has a full grommet set like a prestige All right so what does that tell me is this really a prestige well not necessarily not necessarily um i had a kid who is a big head fan uh bring me a radical like a stock radical from uh, from the wall and he brought me a set of a, a head guard set just like this, right? And he said, can you put this on for me? And I said, I don't know if that's gonna fit. Did you take that off of Prestige or did you order Prestige? He's like, he said, no, I ordered it from a Radical. And I said, where'd you get that? He said, well, I ordered it off the head site. So I guess head, uh, allows you to order a grommet kit like this for a radical as well. So they do make it. Um, he was actually a Brit. So he was a big uh, Andy Murray fan, uses a radical pro just like this. Um, and and I, I was able to take it off and put one on for him. I was shocked. Uh, I went on the website myself and you could actually pick colors from from what what color of a of a guard you wanted in in this kit, so um, so yeah so this isn't necessarily a radical pro. Um, excuse me, this isn't necessarily a prestige pro just because we see this. Okay, let's see what kind of string this is. So it's Luxalon ALU power on the mains and. Babolat VS Touch, um, the 16 gauge, on the cross. And obviously it was strung at 57. Um, Sunday means, well, as sun means Sunday, as some of you told me um, in one of the rackets from before. So I'm guessing somebody at P1 did this for him and did it for Sunday. So, and then on the other side of the racket, we see his name. All right, so before I go into that part, let's take a look at what else he's got going on here. So, turn a grip. Yeah. 
no trap door. I can't see if there's customization in there because there's no trap door. So I, I can't pop that open. Um, let's see if I can see anything else. So it's got a, it's got a more rectangular grip shape as you can see there. So that is not leather. Um, that is either Hydrozor, head Hydrozor Pro or something comparable to it back then. Uh, see, it, it's, it's rubberized. So I can't go any lower and I don't want to remove any more. So I'm gonna leave it here and fix back what I did here. Okay, looking at the racket some more. Um, this side looks pretty, it's semi-clean here. You turn it around. That's pretty beat up right there. So, that tells me that he holds it one weight, uh, just like Fed does. So he probably holds it uh, a certain way in the handle, like most of the time. Um, what else is there? What's this? There's there's a thing on the bottom that says one three four. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if you can, if you guys know what it is. Uh, one three four, and it doesn't say what grip size it is. Let me measure the grip size. Andy's grip size is. Move it up. Oh, four and three eighths on the dot. Yep, four and three eighths on the dot, even with the overgrip. Let's check the length since I have this out. Twenty-seven inches on the dot. All right, so we're gonna go mining for lead here. Uh, Looks like there's lead right there. Uh, let's see where that is, though. Okay, starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth cross from the top. Um, is where it starts and there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight to eight at the top. So eight from the top on the cross to eight from the top on the cross, all the way around this head is where the lead is. Um, let's see if there's anything underneath that. So it's a 16 by 19 string pattern and I'm, the more I look at this racket, the more it does look like a prestige pro to me. Um, I'm sure it's a custom made prestige pro of some sort with a special number. Um, you guys will know that um, and you will, the ones that you, the, the ones that do know, you're gonna post it on the comments and let everybody else know. Thank you. But for what I can do today, um, I'm gonna compare it to uh, the current Prestige Pro and the current Radical Pro. Uh, but looking at this, it looks like a Prestige Pro to me. So let's, let's hold it up and take a look at where we're at. Okay, so the beam, just by my eye, Andy's beam is thinner, right? You can see that. It doesn't quite, eh, it's not bad. It kind of lines up. The grommet set lines up almost. Um, turn it over. 
over. Length is the same. Yeah, strings line up. The strings hmm, doesn't quite line up. The mains kind of line up. The crosses are off. Um, Andy's racket looks, here, I'll put it this way. Andy's racket looks like they're maybe slightly wider apart than the uh, Prestige. It ends the same though on the bottom. Uh, almost starts the same, but everywhere else in the middle, it's different. Um, I would say Andy's is farther apart by, by, yeah, definitely farther apart. Okay. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, I'm looking at this again. This is thinner than that. So that means this is not even in the ballpark. The, the radical won't be in the ballpark. That's uh, looks like it's under two centimeters. So it's like a 19 beam. Yeah, it looks like a 19 beam, 19 millimeters. This is 20, 20 millimeters. So that is thinner. This is a thinner beam. All right, let's test these out. Let's go to the scale. At the scale. Andy's racket is 353.5 grams. Okay. So Radical Pro, probably not going to be that much. 327. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty off. Prestige Pro, 331.5. Swing weight. Whoa, three seventy nine. You know what? I want to do that again. That's Seventy nine radical. Three thirteen. <laughs> Or close. Prestige should have a little more head weight. Three forty. A little more head weight.
and see where we balance out at. Thirty-three I would say three. So three, 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 three hundred and thirty-three millimeters. five stock radical and then the prestige three twenty Seven, three hundred twenty-seven millimeters. Okay, to sum it up, lead on the eighth cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So lead starts right there, comes all the way around to number eight over here. Um, my guess is that it's a half-inch strip. Um, all the way through, split into two. So quarter inch one side, quarter inch the other side. So strips all the way down to there, okay? I am 100% sure there is silicone in here. Um, this racket, Andy's racket, is definitely not the Radical Pro. It's just not it. There, it's, a, it's made to look like that, but it's it's definitely not this racket. It, it's again a marketing thing so that you guys can buy it, right? Uh, and they can put a face on a racket. It is also not a Prestige Pro, although if you let it up the same way um, and put silicone in the handle, you can probably get pretty close. You can probably get real close. Uh, it is a bit thicker, so you're probably going to gain a little bit of more power than Andy's here. So, um, but you can you can get pretty close with this Prestige Pro. So, this is a custom racket. Like Head has a name for this racket. Um, it's the PT. 57A, and it's a pro stock racket. It's a pro model. Now, uh, Sharapova has been known to use this, as well as a bunch of the other pros. Uh, they use this pro stock model, and then they customize it to their own weight and balance um, from there. So the stiffness on this racket is a 58. Um, I don't have a machine to look it up, uh, or to to check the flex on it or anything like that. Uh, I mean, the best I can do is this, and this is actually pretty soft. You can see me doing this, right? But so are these, like you can see me doing this. These are pretty soft, like this is pretty soft too. So anything in that 58, 61 range, which is what both of these are, are gonna flex pretty easily, all right? So I looked it up and it's 58 on the, the, the flex of this. So, and it's also a 95 square inch head. So this particular pro stock model is a 95 square inch head. Um, as you can see by the, the actual numbers of Andy's racket on this top, it's a heavy racket. It's a head heavy racket and yeah, like 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 most pros, they they're they like them on the heavier side, but if you look at the Radical Pro, I mean that's 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 a retail racket. Those specs are for retail. Um, Prestige Pro, 
somewhere in between. You can probably get those numbers of those numbers uh, by adding the lead and siliconing the handle, um, you know, but you wouldn't get the pro stock though, okay? So that's Andy Murray's racket. All right, uh, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Claire, am I a Brit or Scott? Since there's no Wimbledon this year, we won't know. So maybe next year. But as for now, Andy is a Scott? Since he hasn't won Wimbledon in a while, right? I don't know. Let me know. Is, he, is Andy a Brit or a Scott right now?